Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're out at 12 o'clock midnight and we're going out foraging for pretty much anything. We've got a fork and net and a foraging hook tonight, so hopefully we can catch loads of fish. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! We are well equipped today. We've got the pan here, we've got the foraging hook, and we've got a nice old fork and a net. I'm going to plant the fork somewhere where I know I'm going to come back and get it because the razor clam beds and the place where I'll be digging is on the other side of the bay. So that's what we're going to go for. We're going to dump this off. And I'm going to go dig some clams later on. But first of all, see if we can catch some fish, some lobsters or anything else we can find, really. It's so calm tonight. There is not a breath of wind whatsoever. So that only means one thing. We'll be able to see fish from an absolute mile away. <laughs> there should be some decent prawns around today. Fingers crossed we can get a few. Because it's so calm, we, sh we should be able to spot them really well. I wouldn't mind a few prawns tonight. The fork has been abandoned. Mission has commenced. Quite a few nice prawns around here. couple of decent ones in there come up the stream here and there hasn't been any fish whatsoever I thought it'd be pretty good tonight but that's fishing seems to be a lot of prawns around so so what we'll do is we'll start getting some of these in the pan here delicious Long legged spider crab. Cool little creature. Got one. <laughs> There's quite a few underneath there. I missed them all. Some nice prawns though. Perfect eating size. Oh yeah, got him. Nice, got him as well. <laughs> Starting to accumulate quite a few of these little delicious morsels. Look at that, getting some nice ones as well. Not monsters, but they are big enough to eat. If I take a hundred of these, that'd be a nice little meal. Oh, there's so many just leaving the bay at the moment because that water's running out so fast. I'm just scooting along like this. I'll wait until I see a patch of them and I'll just slowly just scoop them up. Oh, I love it when it's prawn season. Yeah. Oh yeah, got a few in that one. Nice sized prawns and they're a good average all round as well. There's not a lot of small ones. Check these little beauties out. A few nice ones in here. Look at that, that's the biggest one of the day. Load them all into the pan here. I'm not taking any of the small ones today. I want this sort of size and up. Because there is so many decent ones around in this spot in particular, um, it, I can actually be a bit more choosy. This is a juvenile ballon rat. You see how green they go. It's amazing. And this right here, that's a pistol shrimp. Interesting. Not finding many lobsters in the holes tonight. Big hole down here and it's been completely empty. But we're finding some really nice big prawns still though. I'm just working my way along the shore edge at the moment. Just looking out for little groups of prawns. I'm just gonna work my way through all the lobster holes. So we get back to the fork. Nice sized conga just feeding down there. Check him out. Nice to see. But I can't see any lobsters. <laughs> Check this out guys. We haven't got one but we've got two snake pipe fish. Really cool little creatures these are. I believe they're the second biggest of the pipe fish family. We've got a little baby one there as well. 
That's what I love about this time of year. You can find absolutely any sort of small species. Right there, little cork wing wrasse. Look at the size of that for a starfish. That is a chunker. And he's got a Venus clam in his in his mouth as well, look. He's feeding. This is a scallop's worst nightmare right here. That is a proper big one, that. Really chunky. Shows how low that water's gone out. We've got a 0 0.5 tide and high pressure. So that tide has whipped out. Some nice bass out here, guys. They're just in front of me, but I can't get to them. Some really nice fish I just seen then. I'm gonna work our way up with the net quick and just see if we can find any. Come on. They were some nice bass. There's a decent bass there, look at that one. Oh my god. That was a good bass that one. Just gotta slowly walk through this water. And look for the shadow. <laughs> There's loads of bass here. There's freaking hundreds of them. <laughs> Which one do you choose though? And before you know it, they're all gone. There's one there, look. There's a little one. He's gone. That's a lot of bass. We're just sitting around at the bottom of the surf here because that tide whips out so quickly. There's so much food that gets washed out. And they're here. They're here preying on it. The spot I'm in today is absolutely rammed with razor clams, as you can see. That's all I'm gonna do tonight. Just dig a few up. Let's go with the prawns. But first of all, because we've got a little bit of the tide to go yet, I'm gonna go wade through the other side of the surface, see if we can get any fish. There's razor clams starting to show up everywhere. And I've got no salt with me either. Notice if you just creep up. And you can just grab them. There we go, look at that. Another one over here. Beautiful. Is there any more for the pickings? Another one just here. That's oh, a bit small, that. Couple of nice razor clams going in the bucket. There is razor clams everywhere. <sighs> Two right there. Nice size ones as well. Delicious these things are. Nice size razor clams. I don't want too many razor clams today. I just wanted enough to put with our cook up. There we go. Get a nice little selection of seafood at the moment. We've got a good amount of razor clams here now, guys. Enough for what I need. So what I'm gonna do is just head back to the shoreline and see if we can get some more giant prawns. I've been quite picky today and got a lot this size, which is perfect eating. Well, that size or bigger, really. So hopefully we can get some. We're just heading to the low water edge here, guys. There were so many bass here when I first got here. There was a couple of big ones, but a lot of them were really small. So what I'm going to do, because the water's nice and murky in here, I'm going to go up to the cow edge and I'm going to work my way all in between this lot and see if we can get some big prawns out of it. Got a few nice prawns in there so far. Come on. A few little fish in here. Tiny little ballon wrasse. 
some nice prawns. I don't know where my pipe fish went. I must have got through the holes that were in it. Come on, you prawns. Come to Papa Smash. Oh, we got a couple of nice ones in there. Look at that. That's better. We're starting to find them now. Oh, yeah, there's a good amount of prawns coming up. Something so therapeutic with this. Just wading your way around, getting right up in the rocks, trying to catch some big old prawns. So many colours to the wrath. Loads of different species. A few prawns in there. Let's get dipping again. Finally back to the foraging bag. See what we got in here. There's definitely a few prawns in here. But whether they're massive or not is a different story. A couple of nice ones there. Put those in there. Loads of these baby wrasse around. They must be breeding. Or all the eggs have hatched, shall I say. So fascinating looking at all these tiny creatures. Right here, got a tiny little scorpion fish. A little baton wrath. So cool. I'm not getting much prawns now. Now that the tide's turned, the prawns seem to have gone off the feed a little bit. There you go. That's called the 15 spine stickleback. Oh, there's a really green one there. Check that out. That's really green. Yeah, that's 15 spine stickleback. You find these a lot in the eelgrass. You find a lot of the pipefish species always in the eelgrass. I've never found a seahorse. That'd be nice to find one day. Just going to leave the fork higher up the beach. It's dead on low water now. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to go for a little mooch around in the pools up here and just see if we can find any cool little creatures or even anything to catch and cook. Oh, he went down that one. This right here, that's called a dog cockle. And they've got a little appendage that they stick out to dig themselves back in the sand or move. Cool little creature. There you go. That's the dog cockle. It's a lot better size, that one. They're not the best for eating. I find them quite chewy, these. Opposed to the Venus clams that are really delicate. Yoink. There's one. The other two are gone. There's more down here, look. I think that one's gone. Oh, he's just gone. Lucky little razor clams. Ah, got you, big boy. This one I got just before it went down. With razor clams, you've got to make sure you don't pull them too hard. Just give them a wiggle because they do have a foot that hold, hold them in the ground and that's there. I broke that one. So you've got to be careful. And there's the foot. But that's still plenty of bait in there. I noticed they go down, but they don't shoot down very far. So if you're quick, you can actually grab them while they're just under the surface of the sand. It's quite interesting. Learned something new today. <laughs> There's razor clams popping up absolutely everywhere. Here we go. Gotta be really stealthy. I find it's the vibration of your feet that make them go down. So if you creep up to them, you can really get a good advantage. Tiny little red mullet just here. Got him. I got him, look at that. A tiny little red mullet. Look at that for a pretty fish. I love the reds on these. Coloration is crazy. So cool to see. That's the red mullet. 
Back again, my little friend. I'll catch you when you're a two pounder. That is exactly the reason I love to come up in these little pools and stuff. So you never know what's just gonna be left behind by the tide. And it's only about two inches of water, but it's amazing what actually will sit in this and wait for the tide to come back up. Got him. Come on, my friend. He doesn't want to come out this one. Come on, buddy. Here she comes. Slowly but surely. Look at that foot on that. That's why you don't want to pull them too hard. There is literally hundreds of them. They're quite small, those ones. I want the better one. Gotcha. So interesting just walking around like this you don't even need salt there's just so many razor clams around that they're just they're just sticking straight out the sand and i'm still going oh quite a few razor clams now i've literally just been walking around pulling them out it's crazy to see them like this that one's gone oh we just found a mast crab Look at that, coming out of its burrow here. It's a female with eggs. This is called the mast crab. Really cool, I don't often see these much. Has to be a very low tide like this. Very big spring. I'm gonna go stick it back in the water. Yoink. <laughs> There you go guys, you can actually have a better see of it there. The male of these, of this species, has really long claws. Such a cool little crab. That's the mast crab. That tide's starting to whip in now. So I think it's time that I leave. I'm just gonna grab some razor clams on the way. Just because they're readily available. <laughs> There's a couple just here, a couple nice ones. Another one down. There you go, guys. That's our haul for today. Quite a few really nice razor clams. And we got quite a few prawns in there as well. Not a huge amount of prawns, but enough for a nice little feed for me. And that's all I wanted tonight. Just a good old feed and a fun little forage. Not many lobsters, not much fish. That we netted anyway we've seen about 100 bass but you can't win them all at least we got loads of shellfish i'm back home now guys so what i'm going to do because it's quite late now i'm going to freeze some of these for bait and then we're going to keep a nice pile for us to eat and what i'm going to do is just quickly cook off the prawns and the uh, razor clams and then we're going to make a nice dish with these tomorrow for tea time so i've just got a pan with a little bit of water in i'm going to get that to a rolling boil and then we're just going to quickly blanch off all this seafood. It's going to take not long at all. 30 seconds cook and take it all off. Because you don't want to overcook razor clams. Because they'll go soft. They go like a rubber boot. So we didn't actually get as many prawns as I thought we did. As I dropped them on the floor. But we've got some really nice ones here though. Hopefully in a month or two when it gets a bit colder, we get a lot more bigger ones, but still nice little feed there. So we'll blanch these off and we'll start cooking them tomorrow. As you can see, prawns and razor clams, they cook very quickly. So I'll just give these 30 seconds and then we'll take them off. There you go guys, as quick as that, everything is now cooked. 
This looks good enough just to eat on its own, to be honest. <laughs> but I will savour it. So I want to make a nice little meal out of this. Look at those beautiful prawns, though. They're my favourite out of razor clams and prawns. Can't beat local wild prawn like that. Get these last stragglers. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Gonna make a nice, quick, and simple little seafood roll. We've got our razor clams here, and our lovely wild prawns. And what we're gonna do, because we don't have a lot of them, I'm not gonna make anything big and fancy. We're just gonna toast the bun, make sure it's nice and toasted. We're gonna season up the seafood, and put it all together. With our seafood, nothing special. Just putting a little bit of sea salt, just to enhance the flavour. Just a little bit of black pepper. Always like salt and pepper with seafood. Let's give that a little mix up. And that's ready for our sandwich. I almost forgot about my lettuce. So all I'm doing for this guys, nice and quick and simple, little glug sweet chilli sauce there, we get just a nice couple of leaves of lettuce, this can be super fresh, beautiful, and we're going to pile on all of our seafood. Any sort of seafood roll or sandwich, you want a big old pile of whatever you're putting in there. Check that out. And what we got now? A little bit of sweet chilli sauce on top. Beautiful. That is a savage little sandwich right there. Check that out, that is thick with seafood. Can't wait to tuck into this. Oh yeah, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, guys. So, I just wanna keep everything nice and simple, but I'm still going out foraging. And check that out. Loads of pepper on there, loads of salt. Well, not loads, but a good amount. Mmm. It's a really fresh sandwich that, or a roll, whatever you want to call it. Leave it in the comments guys, is that a sandwich or is it a roll? Depends what you call it. Mm. Interesting little trip that was. I don't think I've seen any lobsters on that trip. And it was just loads of prawns, loads of bass that I couldn't even get close to. They were just spooking left, right and centre. But in that surf, there must have been a good, at least 30 bass there, just all different sizes, no monsters, but probably biggest is about three pound. And they were all over the surf. But yeah, just sometimes they spook easy. And other times you can go up and pat them. But cracking little forage nonetheless. I really enjoyed this. I wanted some nice fresh razor clams. Got some for bait as well. That's what it's all about, you beauty. So I won't leave the video any longer guys. This thing isn't gonna last long, couple more bites. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you want any merch, this this t-shirt's been through the through the mill fishing and the print's still good, so shows it last. Uh, the link's in the description. See you on the next one guys. Hopefully I feel a bit better. Smash fishing baby, woo! Mm.